Coach, good evening. Um, what were some of the special special teams positions that you put the team in tonight? So tonight, in, in this scrimmage, we uh, we worked a couple different phases. We had eight reps of full speed punt versus punt returns, but the emphasis being the punt team. Uh, we did a three on three combat zone compete. For, for what that means is, it's kickoff cover versus kickoff return in a short area space, as if they've already covered the field. And then um, we worked our field goal unit versus our pride unit, which is our field goal block unit. Um, so those were those are the three points of emphasis tonight. It seems like, I guess, I don't know how he was tonight. The last few days, Alex has looked pretty good punting the ball. How much more comfortable do you think he is? I mean, just having a year of football under his belt, knowing situations, more stuff like that, now coming into year two. Oh, I think he's a lot more confident than he was probably a year ago at this time. You know, everything a year ago was new to him. You know, it was the first time he did all the things that he was going through. You know, the first fall camp, you know, the first game was his first game experience and so on and so forth throughout the course of the year, that was the case. I think now that he's had a, a full year and a full off season and, um, you know, the opportunity to, to train in the summer and then get himself ready for, for this fall camp, he, he he's a very confident player right now. And uh, that's translating into the way he's punting the ball. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited for him because I think, you know, we haven't really even scratched the surface of what he could potentially be. So um, I'm excited to watch his development. Chris from Hey, JP, six practices in and a scrimmage. How is that field goal kicker battle going between Parker and uh, Ryan? You know, it, it, it's, it's going uh, kind of status quo right now. I mean, it's still pretty tight and pretty even. Um, you know, the thing about, you know, the competition in general, the first three days were split practices. And, you know, I, I took those evaluations into account, but I also have a little bit of an asterisk next to them because, um, because they're split practices, they had different snappers, they had different holders. Um, so anytime you change some of uh, those, those, um, those variables, um, it's not if. Uh, equal or fair evaluation. So uh, most of my evaluation has come off the last three days, and the last three days have been been really competitive and, and fairly even. Um, and we're going to let this thing play out as long as it has to play out. You know, if one guy takes the job, I'd be more than happy to to name a guy. But uh, that hasn't happened yet. So as long as they continue to battle it out, uh, we'll keep that competition rolling. Next would be Irish Phil from Warchant. Hey, coach. Um, just following up on that, that topic, when you look back at some of the misses from last year, I mean, it's not like, you know, sometimes it was even shorter kicks. Was there a common thread for each or, either one of them or both of them? Or when, as you guys look back and evaluate some of the misses from last year? Uh, you know, when it, in, in terms of a year ago and the missed kicks, I don't think there was a common theme in ter you know, that, that all the f missed field goals had in common. Um, they were all more fundamental and technique based than they were ability, um, you know, and, and it's just getting that, that confidence and the consistency and the routine of, and I think that helps when you have one guy, you know, um, and, and I, you know, that, that's the idea and the goal going into this year. And, uh, you know, we're going to let the competition battle out. But once it does, I, I'd like that guy to be the guy. But you know what, if, if, if it's not working, then we'll continue to always look at it. So, um, you know, it's going to be an evolving competition as, as we move forward. Well, I, th I think the best thing about what we have going now from a defensive end perspective is a lot of those guys who played a year ago, two of which you mentioned, Quayshon Fuller, Derek McClendon, um, Josh Griffiths, um, you know, those three guys played a lot as, as redshirt freshman or freshman a year ago, or played some anyway. They've all made significant improvement. We have the two transfers uh, that, are, that are older kids that, that came in the spring, and uh, Jermaine and, and Keir Thomas. And then we added Marcus Cushney here in the summer. So we've added a lot of, of experience 
and those young guys have now grown and developed. So our depth at that spot should be much, much better. Um, I've, I've been excited about those six guys that I've named. I thought Patrick Payton was having an excellent camp. Um, you know, so so I mean, I think I think the depth is going to be much better than it was a year ago in, in terms of the quality of the depth, and uh, you know the competition is going to be pretty solid there. Um, I like where where we are, um, but we're only a weekend, so we got to keep keep grinding it out. Hey, coach. Uh, coach Norvell's been talking a lot about what Keir Thomas has brought. Um, can you talk about just what you've seen out of him these first few practices in the scrimmage today? Just how much of a boost he's been? Well, you know, Keir, Keir brings a, a veteran presence to the meeting room and to the practice field. Um, you know, this is—he's been around for a while. Um, he's been—he comes from a, a good program. Um, one of which I, you know, I know a lot of the coaches that coached him before and have a lot of respect for him. Um, you know, he's a worker. He's a grinder. Uh, he knows what it takes to be successful. So without doing anything on the field, he's already a positive influence on everybody else in the room. But then on the field, uh, you know, he, he knows that this is his last go around. And he's making the most of it in terms of the effort, um, his, his investment into the meeting room and learning the defense, and then just the way he competes on the field. So just having that veteran leadership and that, that experience is a huge factor for that room. As far as oh my gosh, as far as players flashing uh, on special teams trying to earn a spot on that field, is there anybody specifically that you can name? Well, you know, I think I think as a program, our guys have done a tremendous job investing into what our culture of special teams is here. Um, you know, there's some guys that, that certainly flash, and, you know, there's so many. I, I almost feel bad, like, naming people, but I, I'll name a couple guys that have really jumped out. You know, Ja'Kai Douglas does everything we ask him to do all the time the way that we need it done. Um, Jarvis Brownlee is that way on special teams. Um, Cam McDonald is that way on special teams. Wyatt Rector is that way on special teams. Um, Treshawn Ward is that way on special teams. I mean, as a program, the, the guys have really, really done a nice job investing into the fundamentals and technique. Um, so it's a little unfair just to kind of pull some guys out, but those were the guys that came to mind first. All right, last one, we'll go back to Ira. When, uh, you know, when we've been out there practice, it seems like you've had a lot of different guys working uh, as return specialists. Um, is that something you're going to narrow down? Pretty quickly, or is that something that might go on to the other camp, figuring out who's going to be the main guys there? Um, you know, I, I mean, I think we kind of know, but you're always looking to develop depth and 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 get as, as many guys work as possible. I mean, um, you know, we all lived through through an experience last year that was unique, where you know every week you had to have you know great depth to to your roster and. You know, really, we're going to be seeing some of the same challenges probably this year and going forward. So we want as many guys as we possibly can um, who have that skill set. So that's why you see so many guys back there because it's never a bad thing to have depth on your on your roster. So um, we we work a lot of guys on these special teams, but truthfully, um, every single guy in that first specialty period that you guys get to see every day is working either fundamentals or they're part of the return the uh, the return unit. Um, so you know. Every guy that's a that's a skilled player is going to be getting work, and uh, it's going to make us better as a team overall. All right, thank you, coach. Thank you, guys.